It is exactly two years, seven months since the observation by the European Union of the last general election in Nigeria on March 28, 2015. INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu, while welcoming the EU delegation, stated that the Commission have carefully studied the 2015 EU EOM report, which contains a total of 30 recommendations, out of which nine are primarily concerned directly with INEC, while others are majorly the responsibilities of agencies and arms of government, especially the National Assembly. We have summarized and categorized the 2015 EU observation report. In all, as I said earlier, there are 30 recommendations. Eight of these recommendations are within the powers and primary responsibilities of INEC, while 22 are within the powers and responsibilities of other agencies of government or other arms of government, especially the National Assembly. We have made a comprehensive submission on the legal and constitutional review to the National Assembly for legislative action. We have also appeared before the relevant committees of the National Assembly to discuss the proposals and participated in public hearing towards legal and constitutional amendments. Mr. Fisa Santiago is a leader of the EU delegation. Our technical colleagues, they will stay here until November. Then it's not a short mission. They will be here uh, trying to know better the Nigerian situation. And <clears throat> of course, uh, we know that you are <clears throat> dealing with a lot of different elections, uh, different ones, uh, some very, very important and waiting, of course, the uh, <coughs> presidential election in uh, two years' time. With less than 490 days to the 2019 general elections, it is hoped that the EU EOM recommendations, as reviewed by ANEC, will lead to a better democratic experience to the Nigerian electorate. Emmanuel Bagudu, PTV News.